Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Trading Results. And today, we're going to be doing the results for the amazing base cards, Alexander Ovechkin, Sidney Crosby, Steven Stamkos, and Evgeny Malkin. Some of the best cards in the game that you can get. But I just want to apologize in advance because I messed up the audio. I procrastinated a little bit, so the, this video is coming out a little bit later with commentary on top. But I want to apologize about that. That will never happen again uh, for the next time I do a Trading Results. So I want to apologize about that. But we're going to get right into the results. Let's see what we get. But just before we start, if you want to buy some cheap NHL coins, check out NHL Coin Market in the link in the description box below. Use CHOPS for a 5% discount. Alright, so this is going to be a little bit tougher than I thought, uh, just because the values have been changing for the past week or so. Uh, Evgeny Malkin was going for around 450 k when I did buy him, but now he's going for like 380 But first off, we got Mario Lemieux and Nicholas Lidstrom. Not a bad offer, but the reason why I bought these base cards was more of just getting coins. Uh, but anyways, next offer here, we got Phil Kessel, Claude Drew, Pavel Datsuk, and Anze Kopitar. Does not really add up to the value of even 400k or 300k, so I rejected that right off the bat. I decided to keep the Lemieux deal. Uh, this offer was also very good as well. Lots of players, lots of coins, but the thing is, like the three players, Vorchek, Bowmeister, and Pacioretty. Uh, didn't interest me too much the coins and Ben yeah They did interest me, but just did not have the value right there And of course we did have a plus seven high uh, we had 380k as well And there was also a Mike Medano So obviously I had to reject the, re the 380k in the gold contract right off the bat But we decided to keep that and we also got a Nicholas Lidstrom ASG uh, Which I decided to reject just because I didn't know how hard he would be uh, to sell and plus, I think his milestone card uh, only goes for about 200-300k anyway, so it wasn't really worth Evgeny Malkin's value. Alright, so going on to the Patrick Kane deal, uh, this one was worth just about 400k as well. But if I really wanted to take offer, I really like the Medano and the 380k, just because I knew that offer was straight on what I wanted. Ryan Getzlaff, Mike Medano, two, uh, I guess they put some New Jersey Devil change teams on it. Not a bad trade, but once again, just the Mike Medano 380k beat it, and the Zetterberg uh, the milestone card, yes, it is 94 overall, but I did not want to take the risk of selling it uh, just because there weren't any on the market. I didn't want to take the chance on it. I decided at the end of it, I would take the Mike Medano and 380k. That added up to almost 460. So there we go. I think I should accept the offer right there. And Evgeny Malkin is now off the block. Okay, so now we're moving on to Steven Stamkos, and he has nine trade offers, at least he did. Uh, the first one was a troll trade, a plus seven high for the goalie. And then this offer we got here, Vladimir Tarasenko, Ryan Kessler, Zach Parise, and Seabrook. So how I calculated this was, Kessler was going for around 20k, Parise was going for around 35 to 40. So you're getting about 60 with Seabrook, you're getting about 70, 80k. So that gave you 350, and I didn't think Vladimir Tarasenko went for two, 300k, so I automatically kind of just... Uh, delayed it then next up we have 425k uh three florida players i guess you can call them uh phil kessel 60k dad suk around 60k as well kessler about 20k you're getting about 140 with 425k and that just was not enough for me at least uh so i decided to go right back to the first offer to reject that one and i will keep the phil kessel dad suk and kessler deal just kind of in my uh, offers at least but next up we got matt duchene and matt duchene uh, november card was one of the cards that interest me the most However, back then his value wasn't going for too much. Uh, from what I know, he was going for 375k, so that added up to about 530, which obviously was not enough. We also got an extra 30k there, a uh, 35k, uh, but still that did not add up, so I had to reject it. It only added up to around 500. Uh, 50 to 570 so not the greatest deal out of all of them. I still like the 425k straight up Max patch ready not going for too much right now 300k 400k maybe uh, on Xbox one, but next up would be the Corey Perry uh, Duncan Keith and Rick Nash So this one was pretty interesting because Corey Perry is one of those wild cards in terms of team of the year players and November cards uh, But Perry was going for around 475k from what I saw Duncan Keith was going for around 110 and Rick Nash was going for around 50 So you're getting about 525 plus Duncan Keith you are getting just about a good uh, Sorry, I'm gonna pause that video right there, but that was just about 630k So I decided you know what uh, that offer is the leading one so the next offer for Steven Stamkos was four legends, but that offer did not even really add up to 500k, so I automatically rejected it. We also got an offer here of Weber, Suter, and Patrick Kane. So 
I kind of calculated that Weber was around 215 around that time with Patrick Kane give you about 400,000 with Suter so it once again does not add up to 600k and like I said there was the Corey Perry wild card and I, I decided that instead of taking the three uh, Florida players with 425k I decided to take uh, the Movember Corey Perry take a chance at that but I did end up selling Corey Perry uh, after this video for just above 450k so I got a pretty good deal on that one so there you go Steven Stamkos is now off the block and I should be accepting this trade in just about two seconds and we'll move on to the next one so next up is Sidney Crosby and he had five trade offers not the most popular player to receive trades and you can see right there we received a troll trade but the first offer there was 425k Pavel Datsuk and Bobby Ryan I did not want to take the chance at that I've got Sidney Crosby for just about 650k so I got a pretty good deal on that one but I was looking for a little bit more and then this offer Marion Hosa, Seabrook, Datsuk and Carlson not the greatest deal I wanted like I didn't want too many players with that deal and so I just to reject it I did not want to take the chance at the hot lives and then this deal here was Vladimir Tarasenko, Matt Duchesne, and Pavel Datsuk. And uh, one of the better offers here, uh, Vladimir Tarasenko was going for around 475 during that time. Duchesne, 100, Datsuk, 60, so that was about 630. And of course, Steven Stamkos, which we just uh, sold, I guess, for 650. I decided, you know what, uh, out of both deals, if I'm going to take any deal, because there's only about an hour left and I didn't want to uh, prolong the trades, I decided to go ahead and take the Vladimir Tarasenko, Duchesne, and Pavel Datsuk deal. So there it is, Sidney Crosby was traded for that deal. Last but not least is the Alexander Ovechkin, and we obviously got some troll trades right off the bat. But the first offer here was about 825k, Eric Carlson, Pavel Burry, Marion Gabrick, and Taylor Hall. Carlson was going for just about 100k, Burry 230, so you're getting about 330 with the coins, gave you about 500. Gabrick uh, gave you about uh, 220 during that time, so you got about 720. With uh, Taylor Hall, gave you about 820, which is a pretty good deal. Jakub Voracek on this deal was worth around 700k, but those three players at the end did not give the value for Alexander Ovechkin, so I decided to reject it and just keep the first offer there. But next up was Phil Kessel and 285k. Phil Kessel was going for around 550, so you're getting about 835, so not a bad deal as well. Sidney Crosby, Pavel Datsuk, and Petra Angelo. Crosby going for around 700, Datsuk, Petra Angelo, just about 800, so it was worse than the other two deals, so I rejected it. Steven Stamkos, Jonathan Quick, Tarasenko, and McDonough. Stamkos was going for around 600k with Quick that gave you about 680. Tarasenko, Tarasenko and McDonough gave you just about 775k maybe. So I decided, you know what, also scrap that idea of that trade. And that was not a bad deal. Lots of good offers here. And next up is Jamie Benn, P.K. Subban, Kopitar, and Medano. So during that time, Jamie Benn was going for around 550. With Subban, that gave you about 750. Kopitar, that gave you about 800. With Mike Medano. So you were getting about 875k out of this deal, and that was better than the first two. So I decided, you know what, I will keep that offer just in the for Ovechkin. Uh, and of course, Vorchek with 100k, just not enough. That added up to about 800k as well. And that is just about it. You'll see here that I take uh, the, the Jamie Benn deal with the PK Subban, and there it is. That is the end of the trade day results for all those four players. Like I said, the trade day results were done, and I just want to thank you guys so much for sending in trade offers. Obviously, I did not want to commentate over it like this, but we received a shit ton of deals. I was able to accept an offer on each and every single one, so I can't thank you guys enough for that. Uh, usually, I don't like accepting offers that are too far off, and all of them were pretty much even uh, right, on the, right on the nail. Uh, but anyways, that's just about it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please smash a like if you can. Uh, it took me a shit ton of time uh, just to commentate over it. I'm never going to do that again. Just a waste of time. But anyways, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you guys in the next one. See you guys. And 91 checking as well. And I know he's an absolute beast. 230 pounds. 6 foot 2. Usually everybody knows that he's one of the better players in the game. For sure. Next up, Sidney Crosby, 96 overall center playmaker. He's got 90 skating, 92 shot.